Hi friends, it is now read aloud time. This week we are learning all about different ocean animals. And this character is one of the ocean animals that we learned about today. What ocean animal is this character? A crab. What are characters? Characters are who this story is about. Who do you think this story is gonna be about today? The crab. Do you wanna know what his name is? His name is Clumsy Crab. Can you say, hi, Clumsy Crab? He's so silly. That's his nickname, Clumsy Crab. Do you know what the word clumsy means? Nipper the Crab hated his huge clumsy claws. How many claws does he have? Two. Snip, snip, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like an octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like the turtle and the fish. So Clumsy Crab has some other ocean animal friends. What kinds of ocean animals do you see? One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Catch the bubble. Pop! His clumsy claws bursted the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore. So they played tag instead. Nipper scuffled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Wah! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. Where is the setting of this story? Now remember, the setting is where this story takes place. Where does this story take place? In the ocean. It was the perfect hiding place until... Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, he cried. Help. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything, and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide, and you could find us. His friends are being such bucket fillers. Nipper counted to ten then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found turtle. He shuffled under the shells and found jellyfish. He searched up and down, in and out, and all around the rocks, but he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Where do you think he's hiding? Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Help, says Octopus. Octopus swarmed and swiggled and wriggled and jingled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help out, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of the seaweed, snipping and snapping and clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. His claws came in handy. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. How do you think he's feeling, the crab? I think he's feeling really proud of his claws. Do you agree? 
The end. Look at the ocean floor. All of those ocean animals. Which one is your favorite? The end. I hope you enjoyed today's silly story. And tomorrow we're going to read another one with a different character. Bye, Bumblebees.